Hello everybody, I'd like to welcome you to part 7 of this Polar McClay sculpting demonstration where I'm building a piranha plant. In this video, I do the skin coating, giving it all its color using Sculpey Primo colors. And I'll show you how I do it along the way. I do hope you enjoy. Before I get started, I like to add a piece of wire going through right about here for the um, arms, his little hand, leaf hands. Uh, the problem is, is once I bend it into the shape I want, I don't want it to be able to rotate, which it'll do if I just poke it through there. I'm just going to wrap it around and then squeeze it. It's okay, he's not dead. I can fix him. Now it won't rotate what I mean. See when I twist like this, it doesn't just spin inside there. Now I'll just fix this area back by compressing that area and adding new clay. Okay, I'm just using something blunt. I'm just going to kind of press it all back in there. cutting this excess wire off with these cutters and then I take some some clay and I pack it in that area that I just got done working on all the way around I'm just using something flat this is like a spade almost kind of bulbous but point uh, tapered at the ends like a dull sword almost Okay, I got that flattened out. Now I'm just kind of do the rest with my thumb. It's my best tool. My thumb. Not worried about getting it all real smooth like I did in the last video because I'm going to be doing some carving on this. I'm just going to use this tool right here to cut back the clay and try to reduce the size reason I'm reducing the size is because once I add that colored clay to this, you know, the skin, it'll, it'll be even bigger than it is now. So if I want to at least maintain this size, I'm going to have to cut back at least the thickness of the color clay that I'll be adding on to it here in a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense. I'll be using cadmium red hue and it's from Sculpey Primo as the base color for the head of this prana plant. So I'm just going to roll some out, get it conditioned, and then put it on. I'll be rolling these through the pasta machine on the thickest setting. to condition it instead of squishing it because I'm I, I don't want to avoid air bubbles if possible even though this clay is soft and appears already conditioned I still roll it through the pasta machine to make sure it's properly conditioned and because I got the surface underneath this the, the gray stuff really smooth and even this putting this uh, sheet of clay on here really gives it a finished look. You just gotta be careful to get all the bubbles out. I'm really liking that color. I'm just carefully working it on all the way around. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back on my tool right here. Or this is what I use to cut things. Uh I'm going to cut around it. Just take all that off. Because the seam where these two come together will be a big white band, which will be the upper lip. See, that's okay right there. Because there's going to be something going over that. I'm not worried about that. 
but these gaps right here on both sides I'll just fill in with a little bit of red Okay, now I'm going to be using Fimo FX. Uh, it's called Night Glow. It's really cool stuff. It's the same stuff I used for the teeth. Um, this stuff is really stiff though, so I'm going to try to get it conditioned pretty good. And I have wiped everything down with Windex and washed my hands to get the red off. Because it will stain the clay if you don't. Okay, I rolled out a little snake here. Try to make it somewhat consistent. Start right here at the corner. And right where the red ends. Minus the hair. Take it to that corner and I'm going to just cut this off for now. When working on this glow in the dark clay, I noticed that it was a little stiffer than, than usual. Actually, it was very stiff. And by the time I got to working on the bottom piece, it was rock hard so it made things very difficult for me. I probably should have worked in some Sculpey clay softener in there to loosen it up a little bit. Now I'm just going to take little balls of clay and flatten them out and just press them on there like so. Some happy little balls of clay and try not to be I'm trying to be random about this. I probably could have rolled out some like a sheet of clay and then cut these out but I don't know this is working for me right here. I'm trying to keep things simple, um, trying not to put too much, but not too little. And for, I don't know, to me it just worked. I'll also be putting some on the bottom side. I'll be mixing two colors from Sculpey Primo together to make the stalk of the plant and the veins for the leaves and all. This is Spanish olive and this is green. Okay, I have a nice good piece rolled out here. It's thoroughly mixed and I just wanted to show you those were the original colors you can see how it varies it's not as bright as this but not as dark as that so it's an original color it's good it's a good you could use whatever color you want but this is just what I'm doing I'm using the third from the smallest setting when making these skin layers I don't want to go with the thinnest setting because it's really easy to break through to the color underneath and if you ever need to do any kind of like details or or whatnot you can it gives you a little bit of play as far as you know not breaking through this is pretty simple doing this skin coating I'll probably do some leaves where the um, stalk and the head meet uh, I'll also be doing two little leaves where his arms are and two larger leaves coming out of the pot that are separate from the plant but that's pretty much it for this video I really appreciate you guys for checking this out. Um, it's going to really start coming together pretty fast after this point. And um, looking forward to getting it done and seeing how this thing turns out. I really appreciate you guys for you know being patient and everything. It means a lot. Uh, let me know what you think so far. Thank you for watching again. And I will see you here again soon.